I'm jumping into the ocean and getting hit in the face with an octopus. With a puss. <laughs> you guys, we have Jake Shane. He's gone viral so fast that like I haven't even been able to process it. Neither have I, so we're on the same page. Okay, perfect. Yeah. But you sat down and I looked at you and I said, babe, how does it feel to be where you're meant to be? I know. Are you, what are you dealing with emotionally? Because this is your coming out tour, no pun intended, in New York City. <laughs> I'm really anxious. I hope it's what I'm meant to be doing. And I'm happy that you see it like that because that's how I feel. Uh-huh. But I do get very anxious. But also, if you weren't anxious, you wouldn't be funny. Yes. That's if what you I were say. just like chill, taking it all in, that means you don't have any thoughts in your yes. brain. Yes. My, my roommate who's sitting right there, Julia, she, I, she's only funny when she's anxious. <laughs> Like the other day, the other day she couldn't sleep. Yeah. So for a normal person, they would not be able to sleep. Mm -hmm. Hysterically sobbing, Mm -hmm. crying, Mm -hmm. (gasps) three days straight. Expose her. Like I was like, what the (laughs) fuck is wrong with you? But it was hysterical and I would videotape her from afar sobbing. Wait, is she the one that films? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. I'm like starstruck right now. Wait, Oh my god, I feel like she should be in this. Yeah, come say hi. I feel like you should say hi. Come Just say come hi. say hi, Julia. Also, can you tell it, like, are you okay with this new role in your life? Yeah. Say hi. Just come say hi. This is my best friend, Julia. <laughs> come say hi. <laughs> hi oh, you look so pretty. so pretty. Oh my god, guys, stop. I, do. I, I like the behind the camera role. I'm, I was testing her, and that was good. That was good. We tried to make her a that. TikTok Thank one you, day. It was the biggest flop of all time. Well, it is like we a told relationship. Her to, we told her to make a caption. She like wrote it on the screen in the weirdest font. And like, it, it's like if your manager wanted to be the star. Like yeah, how awkward that would that but be? But we try to get her to do it. We're like, come on, come on, come on. She's but like, there's a certain personality, and that's what I mean full circle, is that like this is what you're meant to do. How many takes do they typically take? One or two. I, I, I'm so happy you said that because as like someone who makes funny videos, the first video is always the funniest. Yes. For me. Yes. Unless that's I, what like, we, that's what I, I think too. fuck up really bad. Yes. The first one is the most authentic. Like uh-huh. I can't repeat a moment. And if you overthink it, like I feel like yours is, also how many are you doing a day? Like is there a strategy behind it? So when I first started, okay, so I, do you want We're me to like give you this, nerds. do you want me yeah, to give I'm you this feel? Nerd. Okay. I started making the octopus reviews on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook reels <laughs> like, I started doing it on Instagram I made it and then I deleted it Because I was like wait, 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 wait. like People are going to think People were texting me like Porn are you into porn now And yeah. I was like no I'm, It's fine Do you actually have a passion for octopi Yeah deep Deep It's my favorite food Was it <laughs> What? So it wasn't from the movie It was from like a Sicilian restaurant With olive oil Yes and it, it was like, in, I life. was it's junior I think I was going into my junior year of high school and I was out to dinner with my mom we saw a Broadway play and we got octopus and I was like this shit kind of slaps but the truth is all octopus are not the same no you have raw puss yes you have grilled puss but even grilled puss like there's such an art to it where you taste it immediately and you're like they didn't they didn't nail it well it's that's what I do I do the chicken of the sea test yes the cots test because all puss when it's grilled should taste like the chicken of the sea so it should be crunched. you need a collab with Jessica but that's I know they're working on it I know they'll get it and I it's <laughs> gonna be crunchy and salty on the outside and really cut easy on the inside and mm-hmm. be super tender without being like flaky and boiled okay I'm turned on me too at what point were you like this is gonna make me famous <laughs> Like, okay, like, honestly, there was a few moments, <laughs> but I was like, it was my senior year of college and I was doing it like as a joke. I think I literally had 200 followers, yeah. pussies, <laughs> and um, I had 200 pussies and I was like, this is so fun. And I had someone come up to me while I was out that I had, I didn't know at all. Uh-huh. They were like, by the way, love your account. Really fucking funny. And I was like, what? You tasted it. I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> And, like, I went home, and I was like, Julia Brett, like, oh, my God, someone came out to me. And they were like, duh, sure, Jan. <laughs> and, like, I was like, okay, cool. And then I was like, fuck you guys. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to make you two bitches come with me, and mm-hmm. we're going to do this, us three, mm-hmm. all together all the time. Mm-hmm. And so we kind of just went out for puss, like, twice a week towards the end of senior year. A little expensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. It's it, not ramen. But but I would go to a restaurant, and to save money, I would only order pus. Okay. And it's gotten to the point, though, where I've gotten in trouble for making them split the check with me. <laughs> Do you have any, like, deficiencies in vitamins from just eating octopus? For- yeah, I actually, yeah. sometimes my eye twitches, and I'm like, what's happening? And someone will be like, oh, it's you're dehydrated, or you have, like, no vitamin D. <laughs> you have too much omega-3 fatty acids. I was like, I have too much vitamin P. <laughs> 
Okay, so so this is still I didn't even know you did this. I didn't even know you reviewed Octopus. Yes, that's how this all started. And then I brought it to TikTok and it was slowly kind of When did you bring it to TikTok? Well, I did TikTok before. I would like do TikToks now and then, here mm-hmm. and there, and just be like, wait a minute, bang real. But then, then I, I brought it to TikTok and it was like kind of growing. And then I made a video at the end of summer. Uh-huh. And at this point, I felt like a star because I had like one person come up to me in Erewhon. And you had like 50,000 followers? No, I a thousand. Oh, sorry. I had a thousand. I, I thought, right? A thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, so you like work at Air One. <laughs> yeah, I, we, we were in the parking lot and someone was like, love you from Vanderbilt. And I looked at Julia and I was like, <laughs> and she was like, oh my God. And that was like the moment. I thought you were going to say Vanderpump. No, I, I know. you were in the background of Vanderpump. <laughs> I have questions for you about that. Oh girl, I got you. <laughs> um, I know too much. <laughs> oh, let's reveal. Um, but so I then just started, I made this video, someone posted that was like, we're about to be in a recession. And I stitched it. And I was like, Bleh. like, what else do you, what else? Like, it, I, it was funny. Like, I'm not doing it justice. It was funny. You had an authentic moment of yeah, being yourself. Yeah, I was f- fucking crossed out of my mind. I was so high. I was so drunk. Yeah. I was, it was like 3 a.m. And I yeah. was like, what else? Do you have a sibling? I have a younger brother. How does he feel about you posting Blackout on TikTok? He texted me, congrats on the TikTok success. That's so funny. That's how my brother is. He's yeah. like, I saw you come up on YouTube. <laughs> My friend noticed it. Like he doesn't notice it till he yeah, gets these like nerdy YouTube. My mom was like, my mom was like, uh, next time you get some PR, can you give it to Luke? Oh, and his girlfriend really likes makeup. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'll give it to them. Okay, so you post this stitch where you're basically like, yeah. what else? This is so bad. It you're- sits for a few days, and I'm like, mm, I thought that was funny, and then it blew up. And then I was like, okay, so part of my thing with TikTok is I just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Yeah. So I'm like, if this stitch stuff is sticking, I'm just going to do it again. Mm-hmm. So then I did it again. It blew up even more than the last one. And then I was like kind of stuck in a rut where I was just like posting literally like, if I peed weird, if my hair itched, mm-hmm. if I like, I like did just literally anything. Like you're, anything. You're being everything. creative. You're feeling stuff out. Like I used to do this series where I would go to this coffee shop and I would get a coffee and they obviously wouldn't give me a straw. I feel like me don't do that. And I was like, okay. So I would go to the place next door and I'd be like, it's me again. Like, do you have a straw? So my series was, if you're not going to give me a straw, like, I'm going to find one. Like, that's what I used to do on TikTok. Literally yesterday in New York, I was like, can I have a straw? And they were like, do you want an agave straw that's edible or do you want the paper one? And I looked, I said, which one's not going to fucking break when I, yeah. my mouth? like, let's not stop playing this game with me. The agave one sounds scary. I know. The agave one, I was like, <laughs> I feel like it thinks it's better than me. Yeah. But, <laughs> so <laughs> you're doing, I love the fact that two things you just said, that you throw shit at the wall, because I feel a lot of people are afraid to express themselves online because of what other people will think, right. or like they're super perfectionist, because I'm messy. Like, I'm yes, thro- if me I too. think it's funny, it's going up. Uh, yeah, 100%. Have I deleted something that bombed? Yes, I'm me human. Me too, um, I'm many, human. many times. I'm human, but am I, am I going to try? Absolutely. And I think because then you have this series thing where when I'm, it's almost like a series becomes like an inside joke with your followers. Where yeah. like, I came in because of the, you make fun of history, but then you were doing like pussy PSAs. Yep. And then I was like, well, I need to be in on the joke. So yes. then next thing you know, you're like, but Ten. you're very welcoming about yes. it. Yes. Oh my God. Anyone can be a pussy. Yeah. Plus, <laughs> plus university has a 100% acceptance rate. <laughs> it does. Like, I just started coming up with shit like that over the summer while I was still mainly on Instagram. I was like, Puss University, and then I made it into, like, a merch drop. Because the merch initially started, everyone's like, well, how do you have merch so quickly? I've had merch since last May. (laughs) I made it as, like, um, I made it and sold it in college as, like, a graduation thing. So you're entrepreneurial. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to make merch, and I'm going to sell it. And Julia and Brett were like, why are you making us pay? (laughs) (laughs) Like, <laughs> You're like, do you want to sleep tonight? Yeah. <laughs> so you blew up for me, from my perspective, when you were recreating historical moments. And not even just historical, but just like, it's giving like improv if it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Because like I'm in the comedy space and like there's a lot of, they'll be like, I'm going to do an impression of, you know, a uh, a teardrop when it hits the ground on a, and they do something weird and you're like, <laughs> okay, this is this is so alt and crazy. Yeah. Here's on TikTok. When you did the rainbow color that didn't get picked, like this dumbest shit makes me laugh so hard. Thank you. And you even like kind of like know where you think it's going to go and then, but you want to see how you're going to do it. Sorry, you are 
I'm so amazed by your work. Really? You should win an Oscar. Thank you. I think I commented you should win an Oscar on one of them. I, it's my goal. Ever since I was a little kid, I was like, I want to act. And well, that's, that's what I wanted to say. What was your OG plan? I wanted to we be didn't an know actor. TikTok was even a thing. You wanted to be an actor. Well, but I never took <gasps> it cry. seriously. And I was so scared to pursue it because I was so scared of failing. Yeah. So I was like, and I did it when I was a kid and I knew I was going to, I was like closet and insecure. And I was yeah. like, I'm just like, I'm going to be, I'm not going to do this. Yeah. And then so during COVID, I was like, God, I kind of fumbled the bag there. Like, I feel like I could have <laughs> been a child star you're like it's over for me yeah I was like <laughs> oh, god damn it like what do I do and then so I took an acting class my senior year of college with cool. my best friend Allie and it was really fun and I Allie was like you're really good at this Jake we, let's take some improv classes next year together so I was we kept saying we were gonna do that kept saying we were gonna do that and then I saw Julia Fox on TikTok do this thing where she was like comment something you want me to act out and I'll act it out so I was like oh I'm gonna do that and I did it once and it was really fun and then for 60,000 followers wait so Julia Fox is your muse yeah she's <laughs> you are Josh Lofty. <laughs> you your, guys. Your TikTok is Uncut Jam. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Julia Fox is my muse. You're an okay. You're an uncut pussy. I'm an uncut pussy. <laughs> yes, I'm an uncut puss. I am. I would never cut these tents off. <laughs> okay, so you do it, but like. Is it an immediate success? No, no, no. So I've done it before. And it was fun. Like, I did yeah. it, and it was fun. And then so there there was this period between December and February where I was, like, gaining, like, a couple hundred a day. And so I was, like, at, I hit 10,000, and I was, like, oh, my God. And then 10, I 10,000 is the hardest to hit. Yeah, that's what I heard. And then I hit 20,000, and I was, like, oh, my God. And then 30, 40, 50, 60. And then for 60, I was, like, okay, for but it, this was going, like, week by week slowly. And so I was like, for 60,000 followers, like, let's play my favorite game, which is comment something you want me to act out, and I'll act it out. And someone commented, like, can you do Bill Clinton denying his relationship with Monica Lewinsky? And so I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so I started Googling, like, how Bill Clinton spoke. And then I was like, I'm just going to smoke a joint. And then I smoked a joint, a little too much of one. And then I came back, and I was like, I can't fucking do this right now. But, like, I promised the pussies that I would respond to a few comments tonight. So what the fuck you am I going to do? That pussy. So I got on, and I was like, no. I was like, I don't. Monica? <laughs> I was like, I'm confused. I know. I I was like, she seen this a hundred times and she's still laughing. Because I was like, wait, I'm the president. Like, I wouldn't do that. I'm so sorry. Like, what are you talking about? Because like, that's Monica how I would react. Like, who, the... who are you talking about? The girly? <laughs> like, and so it kind of did well. It kind of did well. People thought it was funny. And so, like I said before, I went back to, okay, I'm just going to keep doing this until it doesn't work anymore. And so I did this one. And then I was like, then I thought about it a little harder. And someone was like, do Paul Revere. So I had this idea where I, where I was just like, yo, like, George, are you coming tonight? Like, the British are coming. It'll be a vibe. Like, it'll be so fun. Like, come on. And I was like, why are you getting mad at me? Like, like one a was, bleach in town. Yeah, like a bleach in town. <laughs> like, why are you coming with me? And then, like, so I did that. And that one really took off. And then the next day, Brett was on an, an airplane. It was texting me and was like, you're going up a lot of followers. And I was like, how do you have service? And then... <laughs> And Wait, I, is this your manager? No, 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 no. Oh. My manager, one of my managers is sitting right there, yeah. Matt. Oh, we love multiple managers. Well, no, he, he's just on the team. He's on the team. But um, I, Brett was like, you're going up a lot of followers. And I was like, what? And it was giving me anxiety. So I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, I was about to say, like, it's like for his, I was in a similar place where I was like, let's fucking create. And I was posting stand up. I was posting stupid shit. I was uh -huh. just post, post, post. I love your stand up, by the way. Stop, thank you. Um, yeah, of course. I mean, you're the kind of person I want to laugh at my stand up. <laughs> but I do think that the algorithm has helped us both where like I used to do you know reality tv and I was in the very like reality tv scene and I was like but I don't want my stand-up to go to just reality tv right so, like I want right. to find the girlies that don't even know what summer house is yes and tiktok like my f some of my followers are the funniest most creative people and I feel like you've cultivated this like really funny creative following where like I look at the comments and I'm like these bitches are so funny no they're clever like they come up and then it became this thing where they started like Okay, so I'll, I'll like they're your creative yeah, director. Yeah, essentially, yeah, it really is. It's me and the pussies. And do you? Because they give so many good ideas, you don't want to lose them. Do you have like an Excel doc where you like put all of them? I add them to my favorites. So I add the comments to my favorites, and then we'll do this thing where we'll all sit around, like 
me, Julia, Brad, Alice, Peyton, like we'll all sit in a circle and we'll all be like, you're okay. You're literally like Am- Jeff Bezos. Like you have a full team. <laughs> no, these are just my best friends. These are just my best friends. And we'll all sit in a circle yeah. and we'll just go through comments and we'll, they'll tag me in the ones that they think are funny and yeah. we'll add it to favorites and we'll film. But it does feel like you're hanging out with your friends and it's so funny that behind I, the scenes I am. you literally are. I am. You like liter- she's right like here Like you're right literally now. trying to make her laugh. Yeah. That's my whole life. She's such a good laugh too. She's a great laugh. Such she knows it laugh. too. Keep her around. <laughs> no, keep her. I know she's throwing it around like crazy. <laughs> I love. That. No, a friend with it, like uh, my best friend Paige is just like the best laugher in the world. Uh-huh. And I always tell myself when I'm posting, I'm like, would Paige laugh at this? Yeah, it's what I always think. And, I always think. And I don't post it if sh- I don't. Think yeah, she that's. Would. I'm always like, and then sometimes when I'll do it, like I'll can tell they're pity laughing at me. <laughs> the mercy laugh. And I'll look at them and I'll be like, <laughs> and Julie will just be like, yeah, just. <laughs> Restart it. You, it. Yeah, you know every single kind of laugh that she has. Like I it's did one language. the other day, and it was like, <laughs> and I was like, <sighs> and she was like, just do a different one. Well, this what I was saying is, yeah. Then as I got more followers, then you 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 feel like, oh, now I'm expected, yes, to have yes. like every video win a Peabody, yes, and it's scary. But that's not what got you there. I know. So that's like what my I have biggest advice is like sometimes I like when a video bombs because then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm off the like, yeah, I don't have to be good. Like if I have a couple that are killing, then I'm like the next one. I, I, totally. I start overthinking. Uh, me too. That's what I do. That's what I was doing. That's why I got really anxious, and I was like, what do I do? And the ones that have done the best are the ones that were one take and I didn't think about it. John yes. Hancock. Have you seen the John Hancock one? Yes. The signature. Are you? The whole world saw it. Yeah. So that was like my moment where I like, <laughs> I was like, oh, like that's funny. Again, I was very high. And I was like, okay, Brett, I gave her the camera. I looked at Julie. I was like, okay, you come up here, write something down, walk away, and then I'll just, I'll take it from there. And I did it. It was, I think it was one and done. And I went to bed and that's, that, that video was what really took off that week. That well, that video. Oh my god, I love because I was always entrepreneurial and people take talk whatever. You're a literal brand, and like I love to see like how something just popped. Your pussy popped. Yeah, my puss popped. It, it puss popped so hard, and this character that you play that is different in every role, uh-huh. I will say, but has that Jennifer Aniston vibe where it's like you know it's like, yeah, like well it's her what's you know what's going on yeah. Who is that person? It's like, it's like. A combination of all the reality TV I watched growing <laughs> up, really and truly. Wait, like, is that why I love it? Because it literally yes. seems like the dramatic person on reality TV. It's it's every any point I've met in my life. It's me. It's my friends. It's like it's literally just like I'm trying to make fun of myself, and then also like the people on reality TV that I saw growing. Like I was a big, I I was a big reality TV kid. Like big VH1, MTV. Yes. So like you know those years, your brain's forming. You didn't. You weren't there, like for Jersey Shore, though. Yes, I was. Babe, how old are you? I was. Well, I'll tell you the story. My gran- <laughs> <laughs> my grandparents passed, and I was in their apartment. My parents were Aww. cleaning out. I'm sad, R.I.P. Okay. But I was. No, I'm sorry. I'm very sad. I love them very much. This was a very long Whenever time ago. Whenever you think of your dead grandpa, you think of Paulie D. Yes, like, because we were, are here. we were in. <laughs> we were in. We were in their apartment cleaning it out. I, I was like 10, you guys. So I really love them very much. I had no idea what was happening. No one said you didn't love them. No, I know. I just wanted to. Up. I feel like I just was trying to make it like funny and just, you know. And my parents are going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I, we were in their apartment and I was like put in a TV room. And I was like, okay, well, no one's going to bother me for the next few hours. And I had been reading the tabloids at this point because that's, I was reading Entertainment Weekly, mm-hmm. I was reading Us Weekly. And so I saw Snooki everywhere. And I was like, I really want to watch Jersey Shore. And so I turned on MTV realizing that no one was going to come in the room because they were too busy cleaning out my dead grandparents' <laughs> apartment. And I was like, I watched Jersey Shore from like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I was like, it changed your life. It changed, it changed the my molecules life. I made my universe. dad take me to meet Snooki. When I was 11 years old for my 11th birthday, I got at Barnes and Noble in White Plains, New York. And I actually, I'm when you apologize to you, I'm so sorry for saying you were too young because what happened to you, it actually like affected your brain growth. Yeah, like, I was already in college. Like no. We would all get together after no. college and sit down. And we'd all watch it together. But I was already like pretty fully formed in my views. Snooki raised. She you. raised me. She really <laughs> she really did. Like. She really, really did. And then I met Ronnie and Sam at Korean barbecue in Yonkers. And I was like, oh, my God, mom. And she was like, who the fuck are these people? Your toe is gorgeous. Yeah, I was like, I really love you guys. And Ronnie was like, thanks. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, you're still together. I was like, how's the bulgogi? I love how you are Dumois. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God, like, what's up? And like, oh my God, it was crazy. But yeah, so Jersey Shore was like my, that was like my reality TV show. I also watched 
Bad Girls Club, mm-hmm. Flavor of Love, Flavor of love. Uh, shot at Love with Tila Tequila. I know yes. she's batshit crazy these days, but I did watch but that. But honestly, like, she was, like, the first bi girl ever yeah. on TV. She was. She was. Uh, like, an icon. Yeah. I watched Paris Hilton's My New BFF. Oh, I actually never saw that I one. was a big Housewives kid. Yes. Like, big, like OG old Housewives. Yes. Like, Beverly Hills, like, when, like, Taylor was on. Wow. Yeah, so I was just, like, that's, like, all those people, like, that's what I grew up watching, and... <laughs> So it's funny because I was looking up articles like how people describe you and like you're newly popping off. So people are trying to like put a brand on you and they were like, he makes fun of history. And I'm like, I feel like it's not that like intellectual. It's, 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 It's what you said. You're literally turning like historical events into reality. TV. Yeah, that's essentially what I'm doing. And I'm also taking a comment and people are like are you a history buff? And I'm like, uh, my mom is and my brother is, but I'm not. Because really, they're like not realizing like the comments tell me what to do. Yeah. It's like, can you do this? Like, can you do a cut? Like, But you understand what happened in history to then like, actually, you are fully educational to the viewer that would never want to consume right. well, a Right. Well, I'll Google it book. on occasion. We'll Google it on yes. occasion. I'll be like, wait, what is this? What's happening? A Wikipedia never hurt anybody. Never. <laughs> it, we, like, they were something with like the Betsy Ross and the American flag, right? Yeah. And I was like, what? And so I Googled it. And then I did it, and people were like, okay, that's funny. But that was one that I had to Google. You might need a TV show where you, like, start from the beginning of time. And you just teach everyone. All I'm the, like the dinosaurs. All the moments you need. And I'm like, it's hot. <laughs> why is it hot today? Like, Are you sweating? I'm sweating. Yeah, why is it so hot today? <laughs> I'll be like, oh, meteor. Whatever. They've been like, they keep saying it in the news all the time. But it's yeah. like, we got it. You want clicks? Yeah, like, <laughs> literally. Okay, so in a span of time, you're like just chilling with your roomies. You blow up on TikTok. You are the like American story of like rags to riches. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like you're literally hanging out with not only all the Jonas Brothers obsessed with you, Jonas, um, Alex Earl. Yeah, she's amazing. She's she. How did that even happen? Okay, so we were DMing when who started? Oh, I think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was me. And she. We followed each other, yeah. and obviously, I what happened with her was too. Like I felt a, something similar happened to me. Obviously, what happened with her was to a mega mega extent because she's yeah. absolutely everywhere. Yeah, but it was still a quick rise. Yes, in a similar time you, frame. In my head, you are the first person to have an Alex Earl moment since Alex Earl. Thank. Well, it's nothing like Alex Earl. She's, but it was. It was. I felt like talking to her made me feel like less alone little and like she was really I asked her for advice on stuff just because she's also new to it so Mm -hmm. like I want to hear how because she's I'm like a few months after her like okay like what do you think like I'm gonna be like what do you do when this happens Mm -hmm. and she'll be like okay well I do this Mm because the way she handles herself is like she's like a pro yeah she's like a pro but she's giving what you're giving which is like I say it's like a surfer I don't care if I've never surfed if you don't surf waves feel weird but once you find the right wave it actually goes pretty fucking smooth like when you're doing what you're meant to do right and i feel like she obviously like (laughs) didn't love classes in school right it wasn't a priority but then she's loving creating the content she's doing now yes and it and the universe is like aligning to it and when when i met her um we just really we really hit it off Mm -hmm. we just really 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 i mean like her her roommate who was there who's amazing like more than us Her roommate was really amazing. <laughs> um, like more than me. <laughs> no, I love everyone. Um, her roommate was amazing, and she was like, had mutual friends with Julia, and I was like, oh my god, this is just easy. We played Jewish geography; it was like easy. And then I texted them both, and I was like, do you guys want to go to the bathroom? Because like we like because we were at a dinner, and so we went to the bathroom. We like hung out, and then we like we, we really just hit a bunch. <laughs> No, we did not do cocaine. I don't do coke. But um, I don't do drugs, you except don't want, weed. You don't want uppers. Yeah. I smoke. That's it. But um, we made TikToks. It's in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's, what I mean. that's what we did. That's what we did. They're like, do you want to... TikTok? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like... Well, they did the dance so well. Yes. And I'm not going to lie to you. I downloaded your dance. Because mm-hmm. she's, she's not a dancer. Not that I can Neither shake am I. my ass. I can shake my ass. I can't. You can. It's you just have to dig really fucking deep okay. into your ovaries, into your puss. <laughs> and then <laughs> I downloaded it and then I slow mode it. 
And I'm like, what is he? What is he? Is he flipping? It's, is he? Yeah, is he snapping? It, it happened. That was a, my second take on it. Oh and yeah. I, and I just went like. Oh. So you invented this dance. Yeah, it's all the dances I do, I always invent. I have to say, so if you're into TikTok, Alex Earl blowing up was like, that doesn't happen. No. It came out of nowhere. We thought people blowing up on TikTok was like, that's COVID. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like, this is insane. Then when you started doing it, I actually was happy as in like it didn't, it probably made Alex Earl feel better that it wasn't like a mistake in the algorithm. Yeah. It's like if you're fucking great at what you do, like pe- they will get you and not in like a aggressive way. I no. mean, like, they'll find you. <laughs> And I'll kill you. Like, yeah. I mean, they'll, they'll follow you and love yes. you. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, but then I didn't even realize that you had this viral dance, and I didn't th- know dances could go viral. Yeah, I, I didn't know either, but what, <laughs> I, what I, ca- I kept doing it. I kept doing it over and over and over and over and over. Why? Because I realized, like, okay, so, like, Rina Sawayama, I don't know if you know who she is. She's uh-huh. a British pop star. She's fucking amazing. Uh-huh. Came over, and I, like, did my dance with her, and I, was, I do my dance with Julia and Brett all the time. I make everyone do my dance, and, like, yeah. It just became, like, part of, like, the puss lore. Your branding is insane, and I don't mean to make it, like, it's not personal and authentic. It's, like, very, very cool that you've, like, it's it's, it's you. I mean, at the end of the day, really what I do is I just run with stuff and hope people catch on. Yeah. And they they have. They had the Pussy PSA caught on, which I, dad ass was not expecting that to catch on at all. What do you say with the Pussy PSA? Is like, what is a Pussy, pussy PSA? Like, I'm like, Pussy PSA, Pussy PSA, like, I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you scare people. And then I scare people. That, she's so pissed. That was what I started it. Oh, she hates it. Well, she hates it. And she also, she can't do anything with me now because she'll like be like, what are you doing? Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. As you get more famous, you're going to hurt people around you. Yeah. And you have to step on their necks to, One time to for success. Brett was sleeping. She was napping. <laughs> I'll send you the video after so if we can like put it in here. Wait, this is traumatizing. She was this was bad. This was really bad. After she's helped you with all these videos. Yes. She, no, no, no. This was way before. This was months okay, ago. Okay, this is before. But she's napping. And a little thing about Bride is that she does not nap. She walks a lot. She does not nap. Mm. And so What's it like to not be depressed? Sorry, continue. No, that's what we say to her all <laughs> like, the time. You know, We're, I can nap right now. If the lights went off, done. Brett's like, good morning. <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Actually now I'm happy I'm you like, woke her up. Good morning. So what did you do? Um she was sleeping and I went. <laughs> and she went and I was like she was like why the fuck did you do that she was why the fuck did you and I was like holy shit I feel really bad like I scared the living daylights out of her that's the only time I've ever felt bad did you scary. did you film it of course did I you was gonna post it online? yes I was gonna send it and did it do well no she was like that better fucking do well Jake you might need to repost yeah I'm gonna yeah people were like you're an asshole <laughs> And I was, People started to turn on you. And I was you. like, okay, sorry. I was like, should I delete it? And Brett was like, well, it's there now. <laughs> There's a thin line. Oh, my God. <laughs> but what's cool is you have these people that are, like, holding you down. Like, some people get famous very alone, like, incels in their basement, you know, twitching. I don't know what the Twitch stars, Twitch, whatever. Yeah. I don't know what Twitch is. <laughs> but Neither I imagine, I. like, you just blow up and, like, your world changes, but you're alone with it. Yeah. I do like that you have this these great friendships around you. Yeah, they're you. my best friends. I, I've made sure I spend every single day with them. Mm-hmm. And it's incredibly. Do they grounding. still like you? Has he changed? Okay. They keep me grounded. They keep you grounded. Like so, I was getting a lot of PR, and um, again, I'll send you a photo of what our <laughs> apartment looked like. But I was in trouble. I was in trouble. Oh, I'm currently. No, no, my no. husband's gonna divorce it, me. <laughs> it was. It was like my friend Alice came over, looked at me, and goes, "They're gonna leave you." She Wait, so did these places just, like, reach out to you? Yeah, they'll DM me mm-hmm. or they'll DM my management or email the email in my bio and they'll ask to send me stuff. Question for you. Are you in therapy? No. <laughs> Why? I know. <laughs> I ghosted my therapist when I went on vacation this summer and never, never wrote back. <laughs> oh, so you had one? I had one. She was a vibe. She, like, came once and I was like, you look tan. She was like, well, I'm going to Palm Springs tomorrow, girl. <laughs> and I was like, nah. I'm going to Italy. See you never. <laughs> okay how's your like anxiety depression we've hit really on it. really bad are you a more depressed girly a, are you a cocktail of it are you more anxious uh, i'm a i've really really bad ocd and not just like uh uh-huh. this has to be neat yeah. it's like numbers and even and good luck bad luck it's like rituals and mm-hmm. like um so that's gotten really bad i'm mm-hmm. a very very anxious person which makes me depressed I 100% understand that because when you're overdrive in your head, like yeah. dealing with all these made up thoughts that you're f- afraid of that uh-huh. <laughs> aren't real, 
then you're like, holy shit, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. When your friends are like, you haven't moved from the couch in six hours, and you're like, I've been fighting demons. Yeah. I've been in a full World War Three. I have really, 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 really gnarly anxiety. Like, mm-hmm. really, really bad. So, like, doing stuff. Are you stuff, a perfectionist? N- no, yes. But, like, doing stuff like this, like, like scares me. Like, I was, like, had, like, a panic attack yesterday. Like, oh, yeah, babe. It was so. I love you so much. I love you so much. I remember much. thinking, being like, oh, I'm so excited for this interview, because I know he, I'm going to enjoy him just being himself. Yeah, and it's like, and I was always so honest with, like, um, people on TikTok about, like, yeah, I'm, like, super anxious, like, mm-hmm. whatever. Like, even before I blew up, and people really appreciated that, and I guess I was, like, building a community that I didn't even realize mm-hmm. at the time, and, like, I'm so open about it, because I'm like, why the fuck would I lie? Yeah. I'm like, here are my meds. I take 50 every morning. Also, like, they'll find you. Like, these yeah. people are FBI agents, like... Just ex- be exposed, be yeah. pure, and like, and you'll find your people. Yeah, and but that, it, but the anxiety really got bad when I started blowing up on TikTok. Well, that's the thing. Like, I talk to a lot of people about like, all you want to do is get success, and then you get success. And I like to analyze like the happiness factor. Uh-huh. Are you happier than you were before? No, I feel the exact same. And it's weird because like I was at an event and I thought I was gonna feel. I thought I was always told myself because I was so like in- insecure. I was mm-hmm. like. When I become, if I ever become famous, I'll feel hotter, I'll be sexier. And I was like walking around this party and I was talking to everyone and I felt like a star, but I was like, I still feel like, like not cute. It was like the weirdest thing. I was like, I really thought this would change everything and it didn't. I totally understand how you feel as in you think when something happens to you, you are going to change. Yeah. Like, I'm a new bitch. Yeah. And then you realize you're still that same person going to bed at night. Yeah. I still feel like insecure. Just because you have a different number on a phone. Yes. You're still that same person. And anything that was you were struggling with will be exacerbated sometimes. Right. But also, this is a really fun time in fame where like. It's not, like, insane where you can't, like, go outside. Right. But you're in this place where you can create and people will see it. Yeah. And it's, like, having fun and remembering those moments early on uh-huh. of, like, why you want to do what you do. 100%. Which I'm obsessed with. Um, Okay. I want to start our game. Yes. It's oh not really a game. I'm really excited. It's more just questions. Okay. You're going to be fine. Let's go. Um, la, la, la. Oh, but real quick. Are we dating? What's going on? You and me? Me, you, anyone else? Oh. <laughs> I am not dating. I haven't hooked up with someone, I want to say, since last May. I'm so, I haven't. I've been on a few dates. I hooked up with this one guy and then I so you're a slut. I wanted to use a condom and he kicked me out of his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I walked home. I walked home and Julia and Brett were like, that was quick. <laughs> and I was like, well, it didn't go far. But you're clean. And he was like messaging some other guy as I was like leaving i was like sorry <laughs> he was like it's fine someone's coming over in 15 i was like what the fuck <laughs> it was bizarre oh my god that means you have to be a top no i'm a bottom <laughs> and i was like what the fuck is happening what where are the tops because i only f- i'm bottoms. searching <laughs> i'm searching or the guys who say they're tops i'm like you're a bottom yeah come and find me because i've been waiting everyone's like so you must get what's your type my type? Uh, I don't know. What are we manifesting? Like a New York financy, like, mm. But where do you live right now? LA. Babe. I know. You need, also, you need to be in the comedy clubs. Like, you need to just, like, be in the I'm, scene. I, I know. Should I do one? I, I, well, I would have to practice really hard. Well, obviously. But not even, I don't even put pressure on, it's just, like, getting to know all the other comics. Yeah. And, like, being around that world. Someone might be writing a script yes. for something yes. that you can collaborate on. Maybe you start doing a live show in some capacity. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, this is your stuff, but I'm not going to step on it. I just, you're a talent. Thank you. You're a talent. Thank you. But also, boys can distract you. I know. And if they're going to affect your mental health in a negative way, it's not worth it. You know what Lady Gaga says? Your career will never wake up and tell you it doesn't love you in the morning. Wow. Yep. I think about it every day. I think about when she said, when the guy broke up with her, and she's like, you're not going to be able to walk into a Yes. Oh, my God. Without hearing my, my voice. Song. So that's what I live my life. Yeah. Lady Gaga. <laughs> I don't even care about these men anymore, but I'm like, if he doesn't hear my name in a bodega, yeah. was my life successful? <laughs> like, no. Maybe not for me. <laughs> that's the most, most New York City shit, too. Like, I, I want to be getting a bacon, egg, and cheese at a bodega. Oh, I know. This is from a bodega. We Fuck were going to yeah. go get Celsius, and Julie was like, oh, well, maybe it'll be by Coastal. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. I would love that in a dream world. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, time to play the seven deadly sins. Okay. What are you greedy about? Oh, rice. <laughs> we always have to order, like, we'll go to this restaurant in L.A. called Sunan, and Julia won't <laughs> fucking share with me, because she's like, you always eat all the rice. And I take all the rice. I'm very greedy about rice. It's my second favorite food. It is a good thing to be greedy about because you could like a side of rice is not expensive. One of my favorite tweets ever was like, (laughs) I love snacks that you can have like a thousand of. Yeah. Like rice. Like rice. (laughs) I'm I'm very greedy about rice. I'll take all of it on the plate to the point where people won't share with me. Like I'm craving 3000 little grains right now. Yeah. Like it's just, (laughs) oh, rice is perfect. But yeah, that is what I'm, that's what I'm greedy about. And do you, you like to put like sauce on it? I have a, my, a method to my madness. So okay. I have, so if I'm, my favorite rice is when I'll do a side of white rice, mm-hmm. soy sauce and spicy mayo. Yes. Mix it together. Yes. Get a side of tempura crunch. Yes. Pour the tempura crunch in, mix that together. So she's a chef. And then like sometimes do a little bit of chili oil. Okay, Food Network. <laughs> Wait, do you like uh, crispy rice salmon? Yes, please? yes. Okay, good. Because then you could, you yes. have to work less hard. Yes. Um... <laughs> Who are you envious of? Timothy Chalamet. So envious. Do you think he's actually hooking up with Kylie Jenner? I saw that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel I like know. you could throw anything. I don't PR know. I don't know. See what happens. But I'm very envious of. The he went way- to LaGuardia. I know. I'm <laughs> envious of like how he was able to take theater so seriously and be like un by un. He was just himself, and he's now like the, one of the biggest movie stars on the planet. And I just. But I mean. <laughs> What you've done is so cool because, like, there's, like, the old boys club of, like, you know, having to go through agents and casting and trying and failing and being all sad and whatever, Uh where you've created your own TV show. Right. You literally have your own TV show right now that you're writing, that you're performing. And I'm just, I'm so excited. Like, just remember me in the future. Just don't forget me. Oh, my God. You remember me. (sighs) Mm. What are you gluttonous about, babe? What does that mean? What do you... (laughs) What do you overindulge in? Like, besides rice, is there something that is, like, your... Yeah, I probably smoke a little too much. Why do you think you smoke? Does it help your anxiety? It helps, and then it makes it worse. But yeah. sometimes I'll be really anxious, and then it just makes me laugh, and it makes me creative. But, yeah, uh, yeah I would definitely say I smoke. See, when I smoke, as an anxious person, it makes me cry. Oh. Okay. So I'll, like, ruin the party. Yeah. And I'm the person where everyone's like, shh. I like to eat. I like uh-huh. to laugh. They're like, she definitely smokes. Yeah. Everyone thinks I'm high all the time. I'm tired. Yeah. And I like people who smoke around me. Uh-huh. But I will, like, think I'm really dumb because, mm-hmm. uh, like, thoughts aren't coming as fast. And then I'm just like, everyone thinks I'm dumb in this room. And then I... I get a tad paranoid, too. But when I smoke with, like, all my friends, that's when I'm like, all right. I've done it in questionable situations. Oh, uh, for sure. Me, too. <laughs> for sure. I've done it where I'm like, do I hate these people? I'm like, when I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> I'm like, I think they're trying to make me dumb. When was the last time you experienced extreme wrath or anger? Um, the other week. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Um, I think my mom... Wait, I need to think about this. <laughs> when is the last time I experienced... Oh, oh my God. I was going to New York to visit my friend Cassidy. <laughs> a day before I left, my parents were like, hey, sweetie, by the way, we're putting the dog down. I'm like, wait, what? They're like, yeah, but don't cancel your trip. And I'm like, why wouldn't you tell me this You're before I booked... a family member. Before I fucking... So I was like sobbing and I was like <laughs> leaving for the airport and I was like, bye, Katie. And my parents were like, and the dog has no idea. The dog's just like, yeah. I love life. She was like, what's happening? I was like, and that's why I was like furious with my parents for not telling me they were putting the dog down and I was leaving. I was like, don't tell me. Like, yeah. Because I can't emotionally handle it. And then I was stuff. in New York, like out. And I was like, <laughs> my dog's dead. Fuck. <laughs> Any song comes on, you relate to the and dog. And I would use it as like anything. Julia and I were like bickering over text and I go, well, my dog's dying. So. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> so you took your dog's death worse than your grandparents got it. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I do love my grandma and grandpa very much. No, I know. I'm sure they're vibing up there. They're vibing. Yeah. They're watching you. Yeah, they're, they're like, he, oh, period. They're he watched Jersey Shore while we pass. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were a sloth? So like lazy piece of shit, didn't do anything. Oh my God. I need to think really hard about this. Are you like up and at him? No, no, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good hangover day I'll have that I'll just... Um... Okay, it was the day Brett ran her marathon, and I had stayed out all night. (laughs) I had stayed out all night, and 
because I was like, I'm making, because it was our friend's birthday the you night before. You made your own kind of marathon. It was, yeah, it was our friend's <laughs> marath- It was our friend's birthday the night before and Brett's marathon in the morning. And Brett was like, it's going to be so fun. Like, just, you know, like, go out the night before. If you miss it, like, I'm not going to say anything to you. We just will not, no longer be friends. No pressure. And I'm like, okay, cool, perfect. And she's like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, mm. Nothing back so I'm like, happen. I will stay up all night. And so we stayed up all night. I'm like sitting in bed with me and my friend Peyton. We're sitting like this, like 6 a.m. We're waiting for Julia to wake up. Because remember when I was saying that Julia couldn't sleep? This was that era. So we weren't allowed to wake her. And so we were sitting like this in bed, like shaking, like laughing. We were, we were going. And then we suddenly would hear from Julia's side. We were so scared. And then once she woke up, she was like. I slept so good. <laughs> like, okay, like time to go to the you marathon. Finally breathe. So we go to the marathon. I get back and I'm like, yeah. Took two edibles, smoked a joint, and went to bed. Oh my god. Woke up, got angel hair pasta, went back to bed. Oh yes. That was the last time I was a sloth. Good choice. It was sick. When was the last time okay, this is the hard one. Did you let your pride or your ego get in the way of something? Hmm. And it could be relationships, it could be work, it could be friendships. My pride or my ego? I'm thinking really hard. Um, I'm thinking. Oh, can you like use it in a sentence? <laughs> I'm kidding. Like I don't have to try. I'm, I can't. <laughs> some and some like the ego is a complicated thing. You know what? How's yeah. your ego? It's they they make sure it's in check. They do, but I do have to say, having people who fr- like I'm a, a lot of my friends bully me. Like, that's how we show affection. Me, me too. yes. I think it's the only reason why I'm not an asshole. Right. My pride or my ego, I'm trying to think of when the last time I got in the way. Like, because uh, I didn't do something because I was like, Ugh. Or it could be a little thing that hurt your feelings. It's like the rainbow. Mm-hmm. Like, that was all. Oh my God, I mean, honestly, thing. I can't think of, like, a recent example, but the biggest example of my life would be not pursuing acting when I was a kid. Yes. It was be the b- biggest example. I was so scared. I didn't want people to be like, think I was weird. Like mm-hmm. I, and I regret it every day. It's funny because when I first, <laughs> let's make it about me, but about me. Um, when I first graduated school, I was like a tennis player. I decided to not continue it further. And I told my mom, I was like, I want to like interview people like on the subway, like at 21 years old. Uh-huh. And I was like, no, that's so weird. And like, why would I do uh-huh. that? And then I ended up doing like sales, marketing, all these boring jobs at 25 I quit. And I was like, I want to do video. Uh-huh. Fast forward, I'm literally interviewing people on the street at 31. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you knew what you wanted yes. to do, bitch. Just pursue it. Just do it. Just do it. It's so scary you when try. you're younger, though. It, no, it's, it's so, so scary. Because also, I wanted to prove to my parents, like, I could have a corporate job. Right. Like, I right. can do big girl things. But then it's like, no, I'm a little idiot. And I just want to do like things that make me giggle. Yeah. Right. And that's o- that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You, they learn. You learn. And also, like. Life is long, hopefully. Yeah. You're going to you're gonna act. I hope. And you are acting every day. I hope. You are acting every day. Um, when was the last time you lusted over someone? So do you have any like celebrity crushes? I think I lusted over someone. I, I think last week I was DMing some guy and I was like, I wanted, him, I wanted him to ask me out to drinks and I was trying to like insinuate it. He didn't do it. But well, now that you have followers and you live in L.A., because I feel like New York people don't care as much. Do you do you ever think like, oh, is this guy using me for a selfie? Like, like to be no, a video? I, I don't know. I don't know. My dad was like, you should watch out for that. But it's like, <laughs> I, I can't. I Shout can't. out to dad being protected. I know. I was like, what? You think so? <laughs> and then, you bodyguard? But I think I can't think like that because if I do, then I'll take myself too seriously. And True. the only reason I am where I am is because I don't take myself seriously. True. And so I can't think like that. I kind of just have to hope for the best. Oh my god, I love you. You're so freaking cute. Final question. Okay. You've done amazing in hell. When you're going through dark times and you're deep in hell, Mm -hmm. what do you do to cope? I watch TV and (laughs) I smoke. (laughs) Straight up. What are your go-to TV? I'm watching Yellow Jackets right now, Mm -hmm. Baddies West, Mm -hmm. um, uh, The Last of Us I was really into. So good. Um... Uh, I was my favorite show of all time is the show called Dark. Amazing. 
Don't tell me. Of course I've watched Dark. No, oh my God. I Everyone watched- says they've never seen it. It's I, the best my show My husband all time. made me watch it, and it changed my life. No, it changed my life. It changed the way I've thought about time. No one talks about Dark. No one talks, you guys. I mean, I have thoughts. Like, we could talk we'll about talk, it. We'll talk. Like, it I, was a journey. It, it's a journey. Also, it's- like, German people, hot. Hot? <laughs> As fuck. Hot. Yes, I watch TV. And the I thing saw. with Dark is, if it was just like the first season, it, I would have been in, like just keeping those two worlds. But then when it started multiplying and shit, like I'm not smart enough. Oh, I I was like, what? Well, I, I had like, to pause. No, I, I was like, I'm watching Dark. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. We had to like rewind. Yes. My husband was like, Are you fucking stupid? And I was like, No, I no, because you have to because re- you have to use subtitles. You can't dub it. You have to use subtitles. You can't dub it, or else it ruins so the whole. So anytime experience. I'd look at my TikTok, I would be like, Bam. What's and he'd be happening? Like, Are you me? There's a new world. <laughs> There's a new world. There's a, what was her name? Marsha. Yeah, Marsha. There's a new Marsha. Marsha number two. Marcia. I do think that um, shows like that do see like how y- the world is not so black and white. A hundred percent. And I do think that people who are successful in creative endeavors have creative minds, and you're you're only limited by how expansive your mind right. is. Right. So think big, bitches. Think big. Um, <laughs> Jake Shane. Where can people follow you, buy your merch, listen to you? Give me all the tea. Um, you can follow me on TikTok at octopus with two S's, lover eight. Mm-hmm. And then on Instagram, pass that puss. And <laughs> on Snapchat, you can add me octopus lover eight as well. Are people on Snapchat? I use Snapchat. How long have you been using it? Um, since I was 12. Okay, so I need to I need to get back on Snapchat. It's so annoying, but I'll deal with that on my own time. Thank you guys so much for coming. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks, guys. Ha 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 